computers in this video we'll see the dc transient response of rlc circuit with step input voltage subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic rlc circuit resistor inductor capacitor are connected in series we are going to see the dc transient response with the step in let us consider the circuit. Resistance, inductance, capacitance are connected in series energized by the DC voltage. DC voltage source E. This is the switch S. We can control the supply voltage by closing and opening the switch. This is the current flowing, current direction. In order to analyze that transient response, we need to go with the Kirchhoff's voltage law. We need to find the differential equation. By taking Laplace and inverse Laplace, we can obtain the transient response time response now applying kvl to the circuit we are going to apply the kirchhoff's voltage law to the circuit so that so the kirchhoff voltage law is nothing but the supply voltage e equal to voltage drop across resistor inductor and capacitor so this is the kvl given so the applied voltage e is equal to resistive drop inductive drop and capacitive drop Resistive drop is R into I plus inductive drop is L di by dt. Capacity drop is 1 by C integral minus infinite to T I dt. That is equal to supply voltage E. So this is nothing but potential rise. This is potential drop. So this is the basic equation of a of RLC circuit by applying the KBL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let us consider this equation number 1. Right. Now we will split the limit, limit of this, minus infinite to t, we are going to split into minus infinite to 0 and 0 to t. So this is the initial condition before switching, 0 to t means after switching, right. So that it is, this is a normal, minus infinite to t, while splitting into minus infinite to 0, this is called initial condition or before switching the circuit. 0 to t is immediately after closing the circuit after closing the switch right this 1 by t 1 by c integral minus infinite to t i dt is called a initial charge across the capacitor that is assumed to be zero initial capacitor there is no initial charge so 1 by c integral minus infinite to t i dt is zero right so this term become zero so only we have ri plus l di by dt 1 by c integral zero to t i d t that is equal to e right this term become zero so take this equation number three this is equation number two right now we need to take the laplace transform in order to convert the s t domain into s domain we are going to take the laplace transform we are going to take the taking laplace transform on both the side we get so r into i means r into i of s this i is the t domain i of t is changed into i of s similarly l this di by dt is nothing but s into i of s into laplace transform of di by dt is s into i of s minus i of 0 plus this is initial initial condition plus this value 1 by c is there so integral 0 to t i dt is nothing but i of s divided by s differential means s into i of s integral mean i of s divided by s then laplace transform of e is e by s right now we taken the laplace transform on both the side this is the initial condition right now assume that i 0 plus initial current is 0 there is no initial current already assume that initial charge also 0 so this term is 0 so r into i of s l of s into i of s plus i of s divided by c s this term is 0 that is equal to e by s now we can take the i of s common i of s available in all the terms so that r plus l s plus 1 by c s equal to e by s right now we will bring this term in the denominator so that we are able to find the expression for i of s so i of s equal to e divided by s already there bring the term in the denominator r plus l s plus 1 by c s right so now we got the expression for the is current is now we'll go for the further simplification multiply the s inside so that it become rs plus 
L S square plus 1 by C has already there. So, S has got cancelled 1 by C. Right. So, the S term available outside is multiplied. Now, bring the L outside. Because what we need is S square. We need a standard form S square. X square plus A B plus B C like that. We need S square. So, that L is taken outside. Right. Here, L is not available. So, R into S divided by L. The L available is taken outside. So, here also L is not available. So, 1 divided by LC. Right. So, this is the equation number 4. So, it is in the standard form. E by L S square plus R by L S plus 1 by LC. So, that is nothing but X square plus AX plus BC like that. Right. Now, R by L S plus S square plus 1 by LC equal to 0. We will take this x equal to 0. Now, now we need to take the inverse Laplace transform. Before that we need to simplify this expression. Then only we can take the inverse Laplace transform. So that we are equating this term equal to 0. Now we can rewrite that s square plus r by l s plus 1 by l c equal to 0. So this is very similar to the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. Right, here a is 1, x square x we are treated as s square, b is nothing but r by l, c is 1 by lc, right. So a equal to 1, we will see that a equal to 1, b equal to r by l, c equal to 1 by lc, right. Now how to find the square root for this quadratic equation, general formula is there, x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, by using the same formula, we can able to find the root of this quadratic equation, right. I will substitute this. The all a, b, c values are available. By using that, we can substitute. We can, by using the same formula, we can write s equal to minus b. b is r by l plus or minus b square r by l square minus 4 into a c a is 1 b is 1 by l c divided by 2 a a is 1 right now all the values are substituted by the same quadratic general formula now substituted right now we can see that so we can divide this yes we divide by divide this 2 with the term we split the term so r divided by 2 l plus or minus square root of r divided by 2 l square this 2 is going inside the square root minus 1 by lc so here 4 is available when the 2 going inside it become 4 2 square 4 4 4 got cancelled right only here we have 2 square right so the 2 is splitted minus r by 2l here r by 2l the whole square here 4 and 2 got cancelled right now we got this expression minus r divided by 2l plus or minus square root of r divided by 2l the whole square minus 1 by lc. Now we need to find the so, roots for this expression. So let us consider minus r by 2l equal to alpha. The square root of r by 2l the whole square minus 1 by lc is beta. Right? We will take alpha and beta. So that we can write s equal to alpha plus or minus beta. So, that is nothing but alpha plus beta into alpha minus beta. So, that s equal to alpha plus beta alpha minus beta, right. So, that the, this term, this s square plus r by l s plus 1 by r c is nothing but s minus alpha plus beta into s minus alpha minus beta, right. So, s equal to alpha plus beta. So, that we bring the term this side mean s minus alpha plus beta. Similarly, s minus alpha minus beta. Now, we need to verify for the different conditions. So, that we can write the equation for us. i of s equal to e divided by l already available. So, here we can replace the equation. s minus alpha plus beta into s minus alpha minus beta. Right. So, that e by l s into alpha same thing alpha plus beta s minus alpha minus beta take this equation number 5 right now with the use of alpha and beta we can go for it three different cases the roots are equal 
and same the roots are real and same the roots are real and different and roots are complex conjugate three different possibilities are available this is general one now we'll see the three different possibilities one by one so the case one is r by 2l the whole square is greater than the l by 1 by lc so that will get the positive value this is square root of r divided by 2l square minus lc so this term is lesser mean will get the positive value so the roots are real and different not a complex conjugate the real roots but they are different roots then how will you find i of s can be k1 divided by s minus alpha plus beta plus k2 divided by s minus alpha minus beta right we can write like this for your roots are real and different right so we by simplifying by taking inverse laplace we will get i of t equal to k1 e power alpha plus beta the beta into t right so this is the inverse laplace formula plus k2 into e power my alpha minus beta into t right so this is a formula s minus a s plus a this is a formula s minus a means e power a t by using that we can write this right now this k1 and e power alpha t available commonly so that is taken outside so that we have k1 into e power beta t plus k2 into e power minus beta t here minus beta t is available alpha t is commonly available both alpha t is commonly available so this is equation number 6 by analyzing the equation number 6 we can go for a conclusion the current is said to be over damped for this equation the current is over damped that is when the time increases current keep on increases right this is the rated current the current is keep on increases by analyzing that we are able to understand so the case one roots are real and different we got the response of the time as over over damped right i will go to the second case second case is both are equal r divided by 2l the whole square equal to 1 divided by lc so both got cancelled there is no term b b square plus or minus plus or minus term is there so only one root the roots are real and equal because the square root term is totally cancelled so the roots are real and equal so we can write i of s equal to k1 divided by s minus alpha the whole square plus k1, k2 divided by s minus alpha these are all the two different roots with the same value right so that by taking the inverse laplace we can write i of t equal to k1 into e power alpha t into t plus k2 into e power alpha t right because of square we are getting t here right here only s minus alpha is there so that e power alpha t here s minus alpha the whole square so that e power alpha t into t cube means t square power 4 means t cube like that it will increase so e power alpha t commonly available so k1 into t plus k2 right k1 into t plus k2 by analyzing the equation we can go for a conclusion so the current is to be critically damped critically damped means it is go nearby the rated value nearby rated value right keep on increases goes nearby the rated value right so the second case roots are real and equal the nature of the current is critically damped like this increasing gradually and reaches the critical value now we'll go for the third case so the third case is this term is lesser r divided by whole square less than 1 by lc so what happened lesser mean we'll get the negative so the roots become complex conjugate the negative is replaced by i square so we'll get complex conjugate that is alpha plus j beta into alpha minus j beta these are all the two different roots complex conjugate one is plus another one is minus so that i of s can be written as k1 divided by s minus alpha plus j b plus k2 divided by s minus alpha minus j b here s minus alpha plus j b here s minus alpha minus j b so while taking the inverse laplace we got i of t equal to k1 k1 into e power alpha plus j beta t plus k2 into e power alpha minus j beta into t right only here alpha plus j beta here alpha minus j beta 
right now this e power alpha t is commonly available the beta is here j beta here minus j beta so e power alpha t is taken outside so k1 e power j beta t plus k2 e power minus j beta t right so this can be written as the above expression can be written as i of t equal to e power alpha t a plus cos beta t plus b sin beta t this is directly written we can go for here further simplification is there but not shown here directly written in a complex conjugate form a plus cos beta t plus b into sin beta t by analyzing this equation we can go for a conclusion the solution shows that current is oscillatory and at some time decays in a short time the current is oscillating so this is keep on oscillating at one time it is decaying decaying mean reaches the zero minimum value so oscillation at some time decays to short time right so the third case complex conjugate the nature of current is oscillatory and become a decaying at a short time so in this video we discuss the rlc series circuit transient response right after applying the kvl equation kvl we got the equation while simplifying we got three cases roots are real and different in that case it is over damped roots are real and equal in that case roots the the current is critically damped third case complex conjugate in that case the current is oscillatory and decays at a short time subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening